way back, a little more than 25 years. Yes, I came for a UN meeting in Gigiri. There I met Jane. Yeah, they were not even Pamoja Trust. They were talking something about like that. Then I met some people who were sitting and talking about... I think I was trying to talk to them to see how you need to involve the communities. The community should come together and talk about, take the issues uh, instead of uh, NGO driving a process. It should be a community driven process. That is the time, first time I heard about Mungana. Mungana means is the community federation. And they're trying to come together somewhere to talk about what was happening in that time, like uh, the advocate forum or something like that. They're trying to help the people who have been demolished, whose house. I think demolition was an issue, how to handle the issue. That is where myself and I remember, including Sheila Patel, we were together. We went to the UN and came back. And I remember I met uh, these people, number of them, that first round. Then I came for the second round. Some community people were sitting and very interestingly, first time in African scene that people were sitting about setting up a Mungano and how Mungano was planning, designing how to have an agreement with the Pomoja Trust, setting the condition for NGO, what to do, what not to do, how to work, what is the kind of relation. What should one do? What should they do? And they were talking about. Old mamas were there, quite a number of them. I think that time, even though it was equal number of women and men, when you count, there will be a little more old mamas who are talking about their poverty and the issues which they are dealing. And I remember the question was raised. The UN habitat is housed in Nairobi. How much help has been there for the slum dwellers in Nairobi? I think Mungano was come into existence with people from all kinds of backgrounds. I think it's a long way now they've grown so big, so wide. And now it's a well a recognized factor. Mungano is making representation of the urban poor in the development sector. I think it's quite a lot has been achieved. Community housing project was started. Mungano started building houses. Housing training program was held. I still remember the four women from India would come here to make building materials. In the Pomoja um, premises, then later that premises become community place. So it was community and the Pomoja worked together with all kind of uh, supports coming from there. After that, we decided to take more people into the UN complex, that is at Gigiri. When the UN first World Urban Forum was held, and uh, I very well remember, we talked about sanitation. At the entrance of the UN conference, we took a permission by Pamaja and Mangano to build a community toilet, which was inaugurated by President Moi. I still remember President Moi when he talked about, he said to me, what a toilet you are talking about? Why don't you think about what toilet we have? Flying toilet. 
So I think quite a lot has been talked about infrastructure, stop eviction, construction of houses, people building houses, resource was created. There is very long growth and, and Mungalo is uh, grown in a big way, it's not one settlement.